You see a slightly stooped old man with a full gray beard and a lion's mane of gray hair. He wears a couple of shoulder guards as armor and he keeps his helmet nearby. He smokes a pipe and carries a pouch of tobacco around his waist. He looks pretty strong, but he's a little plump and also appears to have some sort of breathing trouble. Well now, aren't you a sight, lad? Never have I seen so many scars blanketing a fella. Like a scar cloak you're wearing. Where you been hanging out in a grain thresher? Oh, I'm just jesting with you, lad. No offense meant, and I hope no offense taken. I'm Ebb. Ebb. His handshake is firm. Now I hereby tender my apologies for the unfair jesting, lad. Hope no hard feelings. Can I buy you a tankard or two of something to smooth any ruffled feathers? Yeah, why not? That's the spirit, lad. Bide a moment. He rises to his feet and heads to the bar. After a moment, he returns to his seat with a pair of tankards. Here you go, lad. Drink up. He takes a massive swallow from his own tankard, puffs on his pipe, and says, What can Ol Oleb do for you on this fine sigil day? Okay. So we're gonna ask him about... Farod. Oh, well, we don't... I'm not sure when we're gonna get the option to ask him. Uh... I guess we can ask about the city. You don't think small, do you? If you want to know what's outside the city, go talk to Candrian Ilborn over there. He's the traveler of this place. As for the rest of it, well, I can tell you of the lady, the Dabas, keys and portals, the way we keep track of time, the way the city's laid out. Okay. Uh, I think... yeah. Sigil's called the City of Doors for a reason, lad. There's portals everywhere. Portals are... Well, like doors that lead across the multiverse, if they don't look like doors. Instead, they can be any bounded space. Window, door, por- Pothole. What is this to be? Well, I don't know. Picture frame, barrel, loop, hoop. The space is inside scaffolding a wardrobe. Each could be a portal waiting for just the right key to open it and take you to some place in the multiverse. Okay. Each portal has a key you need to open it. Now, while portals can be any bound bounded space, they have more keys have more variety. They can be anything from a little tune you hum when next to the portal to dancing a jig, to being in the right mood, to having a piece of the of the place you want to go in your hand, and on and on. In my youth, I once convinced a girl that kissing a man beside it could open a portal to Arcadia. Turned out I was right, and many trips to Arcadia did we have. Many portals probably never have been found. There's some you can uncover just by asking people and getting the right key. Finding out the dark of a portal is the toughest part. But I warn you, lad, portal hopping shouldn't be a pastime for a fellow in your way. Nor should you be wandering sigil after dark, neither. You do best to stick to the main ways, an open peek and watch yourself. Yeah, we're going to ask him about Farod. Farod? Now, lad, what do you mean wanting with a Burke like Farod? Oh, no doubt, lad, no doubt. Eb grumbles, chewing on his pipe. You have to chain up everything around that grasping little spider. He should have been one of the faded the way anything not chained down slips into his parlor. Don't give him a yard or he'll take a league, eh? What do you know about him? Well, now I don't know what everything there is to know about old Farod, but I know some of the dark surrounding him. If you're determined to track him down that spider and nail him to a wall, then I suppose I could spill some of the chains so you know what you're tangling with. Farad dug his nest deep into Rat Picker's Square not too long ago, got a bunch of collectors and gangs together, and started what what one could almost consider a collecting faction, be that as it may be. Yeah. Well, lad, if you're looking to find Farod, which I would say is pretty barmy of you, you're a little off the beaten path. You want to be finding Ragpicker's Square. Okay, so we're not really learning anything new. Chant is that Farad set up his kip somewhere in the square. Even an old fellow like me who's been around the ring a few times don't know exactly where. 
Yeah, so we already basically know that. Yeah. I wonder what else can we ask him? Mmm. Judging by your tattoos, you might be partial to having designs on your body. There's a tattoo salon. A little spire word from here. You, you want to stay away from the alley of dangerous angles if you can. Ignis touched that place not long ago, and ever since, a bunch of bad bloods have set up their kip in that stretch of desert. Okay. I'm gone. Alright, well, I think we're gonna have a rest. Oh. Well, I thought since this right. is an inn, I would be able to rest in here. All right. Nailed and barred. Okay. No. Oh, I guess maybe we have to rest outside. I don't know. <laughs> Or is it? And I guess it's a bar rather than an inn, so... Hmm. Okay. So, I don't know if we want to know too much right. about that wizard. Right, that's something to look into later. I wonder if he's just there all the time. All right. <laughs> I'm gone. <sighs> okay, so yeah, we're being attacked again. This area is not safe. Good as done. Damn. Look at all these people. A drunk harlot. Oh my goodness. A woman stumbles into you, then takes a step back, looking up at you with a half smile. She smells like a distillery. Ugh. Watch where you're going. Hello! <laughs> she waves at you, then breaks into a stream of giggles. Oh my goodness. She squints at you, puts her hands on her hips, and bends over enough to give you a bird's eye view of her bosom. Don't I look okay to ya? She shakes herself, causing numerous jiggles, then starts laughing again. You're the one who looks to be needing some love and care. It, yeah. I really don't think she would know anything about... Yes. Yeah, she's... she's pretty. <laughs> All right. That's terrible. Okay, probably gonna be attacked walking up through here. Done. Yeah. Those thugs. Looks like a centaur. Done. Collector, angry hive dweller. Okay, so smoldering corpse bar, a warehouse, tattoo parlor. Okay. If only I had written down the directions to the office of 
vermin and disease control so I could get there. I don't even remember Done. who told All me right. about that. Done. Oh, there's that one who was running away. Let's see if we can catch him. Just because we need to buy our Stein. eye back. Did you see that? All right. I'm gone. Uh, collector. I'm gone. I'm gone. Actually, it doesn't seem like this would be the place to find the Office of Vermin and Disease Control. It's pretty... ...to the southwestern portion of the hive. Okay. I think we'll go over here. Actually, I'm gonna go in the tattoo parlor now before I forget. 